Oh, hello guys. Now I'm just driving around the hood and I'm looking for people to ask about Erwin Rommel. Huh, what a coincidence. Somebody is in the backseat of my car. Hello, sir. What's your name? My name is Jacob Lee Harvard. Have you ever heard about Erwin Rommel before? I have. Uh, actually, coincidentally, I did a uh, video for uh, really Coach Gosh's class back Coach in 2012. Gosh. Mm. He taught a U.S. history class. He's an all right guy. All right? You, he was, he's, he's awesome. A, he's a good guy. Good guy. Yeah. Oh, oh, the question. Yes. Yeah, about, Who was uh, the Erwin Rommel? Erwin Rommel was a World War II uh, Russian, German, <laughs> Russian. German, 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 German general, and uh, he was a uh, very acclaimed general. He was known as the Desert Fox. Because, desert uh, Fox? It's like a fox going in desert? Yes, desert to be uh, as in Africa. Because, Africa. Uh, that's okay. where he was, uh, that's where he fought the majority of his battles, and uh, yes, um, uh, any anything else? You want to know? Um, I would like to ask you about what was the significance of Erwin Romo? Why is he so famous? Why is everybody talking about it? Well, along with being a great general, uh, Hitler liked him a lot. Um, he did not approve of Hitler's ideas and stuff like that. Really? So, what was Hitler's ideas first? Well, Hitler was very. He was a fascist. Well, not fat fascist form, an extreme fascist, which was Nazi, Nazism, and he, that's the uh, party he led, but um, er, Erwin Rommel opposed those ideas, and uh, he uh, plotted against Hitler, and uh, her, Hitler found out about it and made him, made an agreement, agreement to where he would have to commit suicide in order to save his family. Hmm, that's an interesting story. Yes. And my last questions. What do you think about Erwin Rommel? He's a very... sounded like a very honorable man. Honorable man? Very. Okay, kids. And now we are going to go... We're going to go... What? <laughs> I don't know. And speak some German language. We're going to have for a German you, class. For you... Uh... For you, uh, for me, for you Germans out there, we uh, we're gonna do this. Oh yeah, I'm German. I forgot to tell. Yeah, Sorry, we, guys. Uh, yeah, we're we're gonna do this whole interview in German. So, uh, right. Okay, stay tuned, yeah, guys. Stay tuned. Bye. Hello there. But you're wondering why I came out of those bushes. No reason. Well, actually, there is a reason. I came here to interview you in German about General Erwin Rommel. Guten Tag, sir. Hallo, wie geht's? Was war Erwin Rommel? Um, Erwin Rommel war ein deutscher General für den Marschall, war der Vorschaft der Nationalsozialismus. Sein Einschaft während des Afrikaengelzugs in Nordafrika brachte ihm den Bernamen Weißwuchs ein. All right. Our little German friend seems to have uh, seems to have run off, so I have to go find him. Luckily, I am a great player of this game they call hide and seek, and I have found him. Seine Bedeutung. Hmm. Interesting question. Die NS Propaganda wurde der Gezeit die Anstellung des Mythos Hommel, der auch noch das heutige Bild Hommels pracht. Hommels Einsetzung zum Nationalsozialismus sowie seine Wer Verhältnis zur Widerstandsgruppe sind weiter entschritten. Erwin Hommel war der Vater der Längerichten Stuttgarter Obermüster Martin Hommel. Our little friend has run off again, so I've... Oh, there he is, never mind. Was war Erwin Wemmel denken? Hommel spielte eine andere Lebensgeschichte an. Darin stellte sie an als Arbensohn dar, der zu den ersten Minlecken der NSDAP gehört habe. Man berüchtige damit, Hommel aus propagandistischen Zwecken zu einem vorschlägen Hitler zum um das. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. You are welcome. I'm really surprised that you knew how to speak German.